चलो सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो वट इज दिस क्वेश्चन सो पार्टिकल इज इन इन्फिनाइट स्क्वायर वेल एंड देयर इज अ वेव फंक्शन एंड दैट विल बी द इवन मिक्सचर ऑफ फर्स्ट टू स्टेशनरी स्टेट सो फर्स्ट टू स्टेशनरी स्टेट मीन्स दे मस्ट बी आइगन स्टेट ऑफ हेमिल्टोनियन तो फर्स्ट टू इज दिस इज वॉट ग्राउंड स्टेट एंड दिस इज वॉट फर्स्ट एक्साइड स्टेट एंड इवन मिक्सचर मीन्स यू हैव दीज टू coefficient must be same so this is your state at t is equal to 0 and what i have first is normalize x 0 so this is just a cake walk where this one is orthonormal we all know that stationary states will be always orthonormal in nature and second is we have to write the expression of psi x t mod psi x t square and obviously this will be function of time we all know and then we have to calculate the average value of x and obviously we have to also given one parameter that is omega pi square h cut upon 2 ma square is a dimension of angular frequency and uh, this is your we have to calculate average value of x at time t mainly and then we have to calculate average value of momentum and finally in the e part we have to calculate what if we are going to measure energy what will be measurement with what probability and this is one of the best question from the griffith griffith ke unsolved example hai 2.5 so let's try to solve it hai na so when we are going to solve this one so the psi is given as so the psi is given as a psi 1 plus psi 2 i am writing in a form of ket ket ke form mein likhne se cheeze aasan ho jati there is not any problem so we have to calculate the value of a and how you will going to calculate the value of a psi psi must be equal to 1 so from a here a must be equal to 1 upon root 2 so a will be 1 upon root 2 so this is your question number a so your psi in a normalized form is 1 upon root 2 psi 1 plus psi 2 by the way what is your psi 1 and what is your psi 2 your psi 1 is basically root under 2 upon a sin pi x upon a where x is between 0 to a and 0 otherwise and what is your psi 2 psi 2 is basically 2 by a sin 2 pi x upon a and 0 otherwise so this is between 0 to a and 0 otherwise so this is your psi 1 and psi 2 these two are stationary state stationary state means what they are eigen state of hamiltonian and we assume my potential is something like between 0 to a so we are just assuming this is my potential and this is your square potential also so this is your psi now the next question is what we have to calculate what psi x is equal to t so once we are going to calculate psi x and t is equal to t then this value is equal to obviously we will use postulates 4 hai na sorry postulates 5 that value is psi 1 e to the power minus i e1 t upon h cut plus psi 2 e to the power minus i e2 t upon h cut and what is your e1 e1 is equal to e not and e2 is equal to 4 e not and where basically e not is equal to pi square h cut square upon 2 ma square so we can use this one theek okay? hai so this is my state just after time t so what will be your mod psi x t square so here we have to go into what शोरिंजर इक्वेशन है ना किट के फॉर्म में इसे नहीं लिखना है सो वॉट विल हैपन द फर्स्ट टर्म इज वन बाई टू मॉड साई वन स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाई टू मॉड साई टू स्क्वायर प्लस टू टाइम साई वन स्टार टू टाइम रियल पार्ट सो दीज ऑल आर रियल फंक्शन सो देर इज नॉट एनी प्रॉब्लम सो टू टाइम रियल पार्ट ऑफ साई वन स्टार साई टू एंड वन बाई टू इज ऑल्सो देर 1 by 2 is also there, and there is cos e2 minus e1 t upon h cut, and 
we can easily see that this all function is 1 by 2 mod psi 1 square, 1 by 2 mod psi 2 square plus 1 by 2, hence psi 1 and psi 2 both are real, coefficients are real, so we can just write here what? Psi 1, psi 2 and 2 is also there, okay? And what will be this value? This value is equal to cos 3 pi square h cut square upon 2 m a square into t by h cut. And now we can use the omega, what is omega? Pi square h cut upon 2 m a square. So what will be my psi x t mod square is equal to 1 by 2 mod psi 1 square plus 1 by 2 mod psi 2 square plus psi 1 psi 2 cos 3 omega t. Hey na? So what is your angular frequency? 3 time omega. So this is your angular frequency of this particular where omega is given what? Pi square h cut upon 2 ma square. Clear hai hai? Yaan tak? And now we will go for average value of x. This is very interesting. So when we will go for average value of x, obviously the average value of x is basically we will go from minus infinity to plus infinity x mod psi xt whole square dx. Anna? So we have to just go for this one. But yes, my wave function is between 0 to a. So we will just integrate it between 0 to a. So what will we happen to average value of x? The average value of x is the first integral is x and that value is 1 by 2. Anna? And this value is what? Mod psi 1 square dx 0 to a. Second integral is 1 by 2 and that value is 0 to a x mod psi 2 square dx. The third one is very interesting. Third one is or cross term is there. So once we will get cross term, that means x psi 1 star psi 2 dx 0 to a. And, and you have time function also. And what will be this time function? Cos 3 omega t. Agreed? So we have these all function. Now, what will be this integral? What will be this integral? This is nothing but average value of x in a ground state. So this value is a by 2. So the first value is equal to 1 by 2 into a by 2. This is again average value of x in a first excited state. So this value is equal to 1 by 2 into a by 2. And here we have to just go for this integral, this integral is 0 to a, x and this value is equal to 2 by a sin pi x upon a sin 2 pi x upon a dx. So we can take 2 by a outside. So you can take 2 by a outside. Hai na? So once you will go for this integral, you can just go for sin a into sin b formula and a sin a into sin b formula and you have x and that will be integration by part se aapko calculate karna hoga. So I have done this integral, you can just do this one. I think you will get this value is equal to something like, kitna hai? Minus, this including 2 by a, including 2 by a, you will, minus 32 a upon 9 pi square. Minus this value is equal to minus 16 upon 9 pi square into a. So you are getting this value, hai na? You will get minus 16 a upon 9 pi square, including 2 by a, hai na? You will get this one. Not who, where is that is cancelled going to? So there is 2 by a is there? Root 2 by a, root 2 by a, 2 by a is there. So when we apply this cos a plus b minus cos a by b, that will be by 2, right? But it's by 2, but this whole integral will be minus 16 upon 9 pi a square into a. Because it have to be dimension of length. It should be dimension of length. 
So what will be your value? If we will go for this, 1 by 2 into a by 2 plus 1 by 2 into a by 2 minus 16a upon 9 pi square into cos 3 omega t. And what value? If you will take this value, so this is what? a by 2. So if you will take a by 2 common, this is 1 minus 32 upon 9 pi square cos 3 omega t. You can just check this integration, including 2 by a, you will get this one. Okay? You will get this one. So this is your average value of x. So you can see average value of x is also sinusoidal. Why? Because probability density is sinusoidal. Anna? Now you can check in that question, it is also given, check whether your amplitude is less than a by 2 or not. If it is greater than a by 2, that is absolutely blunder. So we can check here that amplitude is, what is amplitude? What is amplitude here? 16 9 pi square into a. This is your amplitude. So that value will be less than a by 2. And if this is your amplitude. This is not amplitude. This is your amplitude and this will be always less than a by 2. Okay. So this is your average value of x. Now we have to go for what? Average value of momentum. So when we will go for average value of momentum, I can see this average value of x is a function of time. So if average value of x is a function of time, then we can use average value of, so what is average value of x? That will be a by 2, 1 minus, what is this value? 32, what is this value? 32 upon 9 pi square into cos 3 omega t. This is my average value of x. And what will happen? The average value of momentum, I can write m d upon dx, average value of x. So once we will get it, then this value is equal to, so this is minus 32 upon 9 pi square into a by 2. You have to differentiate this one. So once you will, you are going to differentiate this one, 3 omega is there with the minus sign and you have sine 3 omega t. So you can easily calculate this value. So what is this value? So this is your 16 a upon 9 pi square into 3 omega. So what is that value? Into 3 into what is omega? Pi square h sorry, pi square h cut upon 2m a square sin omega 3 omega t. So what will be this value? Kya value are This pi square, pi square is cancel. One this a, another this a is cancel. And this will be 8. So this value is? Hmm? What? m will be also there. So there is one m. So there is one m. m and m will also cancel. So what we have? 24 upon 9. <laughs> hai na? 24 upon 9. H cut upon A. Sine 3 omega T. This will be your average value of momentum. Agreed? So here, this is your average value of momentum. So you can easily find this will be your average value of momentum. Why we are getting the average value of momentum? Why? Because you can check. You can check your probability density is function of time. So if your probability density is function of time, there must be current density associated. And once there is current density associated, there must be some momentum must be there. So this is very interesting that you can get this particular value. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Clear here? So I think this will be your answer. You can write, what is this value? 8 by 3. So you have 8 by 3. So this value is 8 by 3 h cut upon a sine 
थ्री ओमेगा टी है ना एंड आई कैन चेक एच कट बाई ए इज डायमेंशन ऑफ मोमेंटम बिकॉज एच कट इज नथिंग बट वॉट एंगुलर मोमेंटम एंड ए इज लेंथ एंगुलर मोमेंटम बाई लेंथ इज मोमेंटम सो दिस इज योर दिस इज वॉट विच नंबर क्वेश्चन इज देर डी नंबर क्वेश्चन इज देर सो दिस इज योर डी दिस इज योर सॉरी सी नंबर ना दिस इज योर सी Now let's go to final part of this one. So once we will go for the final part, then we have what is my psi t? Psi t is basically one by root two psi one e to the power minus i e one t upon h cut plus one by root two psi two e to the power minus i e two t upon h cut. So now Hamiltonian will measure. Then what will measurement with what probability? Once Hamiltonian is going to measure, you will measure either e1 and e2. So probability of measurement of e1 is equal to 1 by 2. Probability of measurement of e2 is equal to 1 by 2. This is just a basically a complex number. So this is just a phase part. So this value is more significant, है ना? And what will be your average value of Hamiltonian? Average value of Hamiltonian is e1. Into one by two plus e two into one by two, and that value is equal to what? So this value is equal to what? E one is equal to pi square h cut square upon two m a square. So this is one plus four, isn't it? So that value is five pi square h cut square upon two m a square. Yeah, yeah, na. What? One by pi square h cut square upon by two, na? कहाँ कर बढ़ कर दिया? अरे यार, sorry, half is also there. One by two is also there. One by two is also there. By four, so this value is by four. So this value is by four. Yes, five pi square h cut square by Four m a square. So what is conclusion? What is conclusion? This is your average value. What is five by four? What is number five by four? What is five by four? One point. So this five by four is one point two, almost one point two pi square h cut square upon Or you can take five by two. You can just see this one is. So this you can write something like two point five pi square h cut square upon two m a square, है ना? So obviously your average value will of energy will be between the minimum and maximum. So why this value is two point five pi square? That means we that will be less than four pi square h cut square by two m a square and greater than pi square h cut square upon 2 m a square irrespective of that 2.5 pi square h cut square upon 2 m a square is not a energy of any particular state so this is what average value of energy so average value of energy is just a expectation of the what will be the possible energy and this is something equivalent to what your classical value of energy ठीक है इफ यू आर गेटिंग इफ यू आर गिविंग द पार्टिकल 2.5 पॉइंट फाइव पाई स्क्वायर एच कट स्क्वायर अपॉन टू एम ए स्क्वायर एंड दैट टाइम वॉट विल हैपन द पार्टिकल विल क्रिएट अ स्टेट विच विल बी लुक लाइक दिस वन आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट इफ यू आर गेट गिविंग द पार्टिकल एनर्जी दैट मीन्स टू पॉइंट फाइव पाई स्क्वायर एच कट स्क्वायर बाई टू एम ए स्क्वायर दैट मीन्स दैट स्टेट इज नॉट अ स्टेशनरी स्टेट बट रेदर दिस इज वॉट Mixed one superposition of two stationary state whose average value of is this one. Are you getting my point? So this is one of the very interesting question, है ना? So you should try it again with yourself. Next day we will do some next question for this particular chapter. ठीक है? Okay. Thank you.